So right here you could see we have a stateless widget and the way a stateless widget works is that the data is not immutable. Let's say for example, I have a final string here, name, and also I have a final string, sorry, a final integer of counts. So the way a, state, a stateful, sorry, a stateless widget works is that the data is not immutable. You can update the data on runtime. So you just have to, let's say, uh, bring down your constructor and inside your constructor, you can just say this dot name and also this dot count. And uh, inside the, inside your text, uh, this thing, sorry, inside your text, you could say uh, username, then you can say dollar name or, or you could say dollar count. So then let's say this function is coming from something else or you are calling this method from another class or let's say for example i can just come over here and say the name you can say name is i think name is some and uh, let's say the count make sure you put quotes let's say the count is 24. So when I save that and come over here and save it, you see, you, you're going to see users list and here we have Samuel and 24. So you could see we can dynamically update this data because it's like it's just stagnant. But why I, I wanted to touch this part of the tutorial is because I kind of uh, mentioned in our last tutorial that we're going to talk about stateful widgets. So with the help of stateful widget, we can update our data dynamically, unlike stateless widgets. Once you pass the data, you can't update it again. So we are going to be uh, talking about the stateful widget right now. So what we can just do is simply go back to our users list, clear everything here and save back. And we are going to get rid of this constructor and also these two things there and just go ahead and save our application. So just go ahead and save and everything is going to return to normal. And here, we are going to create a class called signal list and it's going to extend a stateful widget and we are going to bring down the constructor with the key so whenever, whenever we pass the key all we just have to do is to pass things that is, is going to be coming from our constructor so we have a super key of key then we have a final string of title so this is just a string. So you could see the string that we are passing from our constructor is what we see over here. So you could see we are still having this error here because we've not yet uh, made reference to the state. Whenever you want to update your UI, it's going to be using the state to actually give you a current value and re update the value for you. So we can just say here override. So we have the signal list dates. create states so make sure you spell things correctly and it's going to instantiate the new signal list states and here we can now create a class called signal list states so when you create a class we can now extend that class to our states and it's going to accept the signal list. And when we close that, we can now use the method. So here, do not forget to bring down your override once more and your widgets. Uh, that's not what we want to do, but we could say widget build. We have the build context And that clears that error. So you could see right now we have everything uh, working perfectly. So we are not yet returning anything. So here we can just return a simple container widget and close that and in order to get that error away. So right here you see we have a signal list class which is stateful and you can up dynamically update this data. Let's say you are calling this data on each button click. You could see that whenever you're passing the value, is going to be updating your state uh, continually and rendering that output for you on your container. 
So that's it for that uh, state. What I have to do right now is to come over here and get rid of this text. I can now call this function called signal list. Here I can just bring down an integer with a count of zero. And once we do that, inside this container, we are going to have a child of Colium because I just want to show you how this works. And we're going to have a children. So inside here, we're going to have a stateless text, which is going to have a count, which is going to be coming from our count. And we are going to have a raised button. So this raised button is going to have an unpressed and also is going to have a child of text. And we can just add click me there. And here we are going to call a function so inside this function, all we just simply uh, have to do is to set states and inside that state, we can just say count plus plus, which is going to increment the count value. And when I come over here and click on this, you could see with the help of stateful widget, we can update our data dynamically and it's going to render automatically for us without wasting of time. So that's a little bit about stateful widgets.